You're listening to 7-Minute Stories with Aaron Califato. This episode, The Audition. So I get in the train, and I, I lived in Jersey at the time, so you had a bridge and tunnel from Jersey. I was on the shore, so it was about 45, 50 minutes outside of the city, so it takes about an hour and 20 to get into the city. The train pulls up into Penn Station, and I just remember the electricity, you know, getting out of the subway train, and the smell kind of like of old cotton candy, and then of popcorn as you start going towards the main drag, heading to the street exit for 7th Avenue, and the smell of old popcorn, and the sounds, and, and then like sweat and the smell of steel and smoke coming from cigars and cigarettes and then a mixture of all kinds of weird pizza and all kinds of food court options all coming together in this in this sort of coagulated mess that just enters your nose and you're like yeah i'm here baby i'm in new york i think i said it like that in my own head so i walk up the stairs up to 7th avenue the ladies out there going new york times daily news and i bought a newspaper because i figured that's what you do And so I get this newspaper and I'm running towards off of 42nd Street and 7th. I don't know the exact side street, but it's like it's the Equity Center in New York. And that's where you can audition for plays. And I get there and there's a whole line of actors sitting on the curb. Now, when I got there, it was probably 7 a.m., 7.15. I left at like 5.30 a.m. in New Jersey. So by the time I got there, it's like 7 a.m. And I think I'm early. There's already people sitting on the curb reading their monologues. And I was like, shit, am I late? So I walked up to one of the actors and I asked him, what do I do? And he goes, well, are you equity or non-equity? I said, what does that mean? He goes, well, are you in the union or are you non-union? And I was like, I think I'm non-union because I don't remember joining a union. I I would remember if I did. He goes, well, if you're non-union and you're not equity, you have to sit here on the curb with us. And then they're going to open the doors we're all going to run into the equity center and we're going to sign a non-equity list. And that non-equity list builds up so that when an equity actor drops off or doesn't come to an audition, one person gets to fill a slot and you have to sit in the waiting room and wait for them to call your name. But you got to be first on the list. And that's why we're all lined up. And at that moment, I realized, holy shit, I'm not just late. I'm out of the game. I got to get an equity card. So I was like, how do you get an equity card? I asked this actor. He goes, well, you have to be in an equity production. I said, well, how can you be in an equity production if you're not an equity actor? He goes, that's the secret. That's it made no sense to me, but I decided I was going to sit it out and I was going to get my first audition. I believe that if I sat there and waited long enough, I would. Now you got to understand there's got to be 30 people sitting on the curb already. So to audition for one day, you got to first try to beat all those people up the staircase and sign your name on the non-equity list. And all the equity actors are already signed up for all the slots for the audition for all the different plays that day. And so you got to sit there and wait as a non-equity actor until one of those people don't even show up. And that means you can't move. That means you have to be sitting there. It could last from seven in the morning till seven at night. And so as soon as they open the doors, all of us rush up. And I end up kind of getting halfway through the pack and I'm halfway down the list and I sign sign the non-equity list. And then I sit down and I start noticing a lot of weird things. I I notice that there's like a, there's a cast system that's happening. You get the non-equity actors. They're all sweaty. They all smell. They're all eating food out of like little paper bags because, because they have to eat for the whole day. They got to sustain themselves for the entire day. Then you got the equity actors. They walk in with their lattes and the coffee and they walk past you. Sometimes they don't even look at you. Then they go past the monitor. There's like a woman or a man, whoever. There's a monitor who blocks non-equity folk from equity folk. And then the equity actors, you can kind of look down the hallway. And I would do this. I would look down the hallway and I would see all the equity actors just milling around, well-groomed. I could smell cologne just coming through the hallway. They had their own bathroom. They were eating all kinds of wraps and food. It was like a fucking country club over there. And here I am in the non-equity section. I'm looking at my name and all the equity actors are showing up. And I'm thinking, how am I ever, not just today, how am I ever going to get into an audition? How am I ever going to audition for anybody? I can't even get into that room. One thing I didn't plan was how much coffee I drank that morning. 
And I drank a ton because I had to wake up. I woke up early. And so I started having to piss. I had to pee so bad. And I figured there's got to be a restroom on this floor. So I asked another ac- actor. I was like, hey, where, where's the restroom? Oh, it's in the equity side of the building. So I walked up to the monitor. I was like, hey, can I use the restroom? She's like, are you equity? I was like, no, I'm not equity. She's like, well, that's that restroom's for equity actors. I was like, where am I supposed to go to the bathroom? She's like, you just got to find a place to pee. I said, but if I leave my spot and you guys call me, does that mean I miss my audition? She's like, yep. So I, I, I got to either piss my pants and miss an audition or and not miss an audition, or I ha- take the chance of leaving and then I have to come back and do it another day all in a row. She's like, I'm afraid so. Well, listen, I, I love acting. I'm not going to piss my pants. So I, I run down the stairs and I'm looking for places to pee. And it's kind of hard because everyone in New York has to piss and you can't get in any places. They're always like, hey, you got to buy something here. I didn't have any money to buy anything. So the only place I could find was this McDonald's right outside the Equity Center off of 42nd. And I run into the McDonald's and there's another line. And I figured, man, everyone's hungry. I guess it is, you know, just off of Times Square. There's tons of people. But the line wasn't for the food. The line was lining up for the restroom at McDonald's. And I looked at all these people and I could tell they were artists. They were actors. And half of the people were standing in line because they had to piss from the equity center. And I stood in line and had a realization. I didn't come to New York to stand in line to take a piss at McDonald's just for the chance to audition. So I started thinking. And I thought at that time, no, this would be a really good story to tell. For more seven minute stories, go to AaronCalafato.net or subscribe on iTunes. Thanks for listening.